Tesla just stunned the entire tech community by unexpectedly releasing a video of Optimus Gen 3 running at about 5.2 miles per hour, faster than what Elon Musk had previously suggested was the safe limit. In this update, the Tesla Optimus bot doesn't just run. It even has a moment where it practically takes off mimicking true running form, something very few humanoid robots in the world can achieve. Not stopping there, Tesla shocked audiences again with a robotic hand featuring 22 to 24 degrees of freedom, along with a neural simulation system capable of generating virtual environments that closely resemble the real world for robot training. Elon Musk has officially confirmed that this is the final demo of the Tesla Bot Gen 3 before the first commercial version is released next year. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Today we're going to explore what are the five latest updates to the Tesla Bot Gen 3 prior to its official release? And why is Elon Musk so confident that Tesla Optimus will become an even more valuable product than electric cars? First, let's go through the five most notable advancements coming to the Tesla Bot Gen 3, including its ability to run and control lower body movement far beyond expectations, an extremely complex robotic hand that closely approaches the structure of a human hand, and an advanced AI simulation platform that lets the robot train. Dr. Scott Walter recently pointed out something interesting. Most robot companies avoid sharing the real operating speed of their robots because they don't want direct comparisons. But Tesla is doing the opposite. They openly release raw, unedited videos, include clear speed calculations, and even let independent experts verify the footage frame by frame. This transparent approach makes Tesla stand out in the humanoid robot industry, where actual performance is often unclear. Later in today's episode, We'll also take a closer look at how Tesla is preparing to manufacture Optimus Gen 3, a crucial step before these robots can officially go on sale early next year. Because normally, if Tesla followed the same process it uses for its electric cars, pre-orders would have opened a long time ago. But so far, everything has stayed completely quiet. According to several signs, Tesla appears to be preparing to enter the mass production phase for Optimus. Sources from China and Canada report that Tesla will conduct quality inspections at its factories from December 7th to 13th. Giga Texas has already begun setting up dedicated facilities for Optimus. And at Fremont, there's even talk of a production line capable of building up to 1 million robots per year. These moves align perfectly with the roadmap Elon Musk previously announced. The Optimus Gen 3 is expected to be unveiled in the second quarter next year, and possibly as early as March. Since preparing a factory usually takes years, Tesla has no choice but to start this process now if they want to stay on schedule. Returning to the updates for the Tesla Bot Gen 3, previously Philip Piekniewski, an AI researcher, delivered one of the harshest early critiques of Tesla Optimus, calling the initial demonstrations embarrassingly unbelievable and describing the project as a complete scam. He argued that real-world drop tests were necessary to validate the robot's true capabilities. But today, he himself, has finally seen convincing evidence that meets the very standard he demanded. The headline moment came from the running sequence. Optimus Gen 2.5 covered roughly 4 meters in 1.71 seconds, which independent calculations confirmed it as 2.34 meters per second, or 5.2 miles per hour. That number itself is impressive, but the more meaningful milestone is that Optimus exhibited a true running gait. The robot had a genuine flight phase, a few frames in which both feet were airborne. Only a handful of advanced bipedal platforms have ever demonstrated this, and even fewer have done so in stable, controlled indoor environments. This matters because most real-world labor tasks, factory transport, warehouse movement, home assistance, don't require robots to sprint. What they require is the ability to walk confidently, navigate around humans, and move quickly enough to remain useful in dynamic settings. For context, earlier iterations of Optimus topped out at 1 to 1.2 miles per hour, far below human walking speed. Hitting two to three miles per hour reliably was the minimum threshold for many jobs. And Tesla has now surpassed it by showing the hardware can comfortably reach much higher. The performance jump suggests Tesla's locomotion algorithms are rapidly improving, building on the company's deep experience with real-world AI from its autonomous driving program. Of course, the demonstration wasn't perfect. The toe section of the robot's foot visibly flexed upward, likely the result of a split-sole design. While intentional, it's a point that could trap debris in outdoor environments. Dr. Walter predicts Tesla will fully enclose the foot in Gen 3, 
a reasonable refinement as the robot approaches practical deployment. At a recent event, Tesla offered the most detailed look yet at its Gen 2.5 robotic hand. What the company revealed was far more sophisticated than a typical gripper and closer in spirit to a biomechanical replica of the human hand. The robot's hand is engineered with remarkable sophistication. It features 22 degrees of freedom, and up to 24 if you count the nearly imperceptible micro-movements. Inside, 17 linear actuators work in harmony to drive a system of tendons and artificial ligaments, producing movements that are surprisingly precise and lifelike. Wrapped around it is a flexible glove, specially designed to stretch exactly along the natural fold lines of each joint, allowing every motion to flow smoothly, much like a human hand. The tendon groups are color-coded by function, from flexion and extension to lateral movement, optimizing both force control and directional precision. The effect is a hand with a remarkably human-like structure, a thumb with a dedicated opposing joint, a pinky metacarpal capable of independent motion, and distributed tension systems that allow fine control without requiring a motor at every joint. The trade-off, however, is complexity. Tendon-driven systems must compensate for the fact that tendon length changes as the wrist rotates, producing unintended finger motion. Humans solve this naturally with neuromuscular coordination. Robots need algorithms. Tesla appears confident it can handle this through software, though it remains an engineering challenge across the robotics industry. Another issue identified, when the fingers open fully, a large gap appears along the top knuckles, stretching the glove. Over time, this could lead to tearing. He predicts Tesla will tighten this design in Gen 3 and potentially add more actuators for a fully active extension system rather than relying on passive tension. Still, the current design represents a major stride forward in dexterity, one of the hardest problems in robotics. Running is impressive, but the ability to handle tools, fold laundry, operate machinery, and manipulate everyday objects is what will ultimately define a humanoid robot's usefulness. Perhaps the most forward-looking reveal came from Tesla's neural simulation environment. Unlike traditional game engines, this simulation runs entirely on neural networks trained from billions of real-world images collected from Tesla's fleet. The result is a dynamically rendered environment with realistic lighting, physics, and textures, generated in real time by AI. A demo showed participants driving a car using a steering wheel and pedals while a neural model produced every frame. If the system works for vehicles, it could work even better for robots. Tesla's plan is clear. Train Optimus inside a virtual world that mirrors reality so closely that the robot can practice skills, tasks, and edge cases without risking hardware wear or safety issues. This is the same strategy that accelerated Tesla's full self-driving progress, but applied to humanoid AI, it may prove even more transformative. Recently, reports from Chinese suppliers suggest Tesla has already begun quality testing at multiple factories. Giga Texas is preparing space for an Optimus production line, and Fremont has a referenced capacity of up to 1 million robots per year. While timelines in robotics often slip, the implications are clear. Tesla believes the hardware is close enough to justify industrial-scale planning. Meanwhile, Elon Musk says Optimus Gen 3 will be revealed in the second quarter of next year, likely March. Dr. Walter expects incremental refinements, not a complete redesign, including more motors in the forearm, improved thumb stability, and a fully enclosed foot. Gen 2.5, in his view, is the testbed that lets Tesla's software team train at full speed while hardware engineers finalize the next generation like Gene 3, 4, and 5. When will Tesla bot Gen 3 go on sale? How many units in price? Optimus Gen 3 is approaching release next year with a complete redesign, and everything we're seeing makes it clear that Tesla is accelerating the project faster than anyone expected. Unlike Tesla's history with electric vehicle delays, Every update related to the humanoid robot is moving at an unexpectedly rapid pace. Elon Musk has already stated that Optimus will begin performing real tasks in Tesla factories before the end of the year, with external sales expected in 2026, and we already know that around 50 units are quietly working inside Tesla's manufacturing lines. By next year, Tesla expects to have over a thousand, possibly several thousand bots internally. The transition from Gen 2 to the premium Gen 3 model marks a critical leap. A new aesthetic, a significantly upgraded hand with 22 degrees of freedom, faster locomotion, and a smarter, more autonomous AI brain. Yet the real bottleneck Musk openly acknowledged is not capability, but manufacturability. Designing a humanoid robot with few enough parts, simple enough tooling, 
and a resilient supply chain to produce it at scale. Musk himself said redesigning Optimus for mass adoption is the hardest part. For a product this complex, the design must satisfy usability, structural strength, long-term reliability, and cost efficiency. The Cybertruck already proved how a bold design can cause manufacturing headaches, so Tesla clearly invested enormous research effort into making Gen 3 manufacturable. This is also why the idea of a $20,000 price tag is increasingly unlikely. A $100,000 price point is more realistic in the early years. Meanwhile, the stronger political connection between Elon Musk and Donald Trump since Trump's return to office could open unexpected policy support for robotics development. While jokes about Trump using an Optimus as a bodyguard are clearly not serious, the broader point stands. Optimus still has a long way to go before becoming a fully capable homemaker or personal assistant, but the trajectory is unmistakable. Musk claims Optimus will eventually teach children, babysit, walk dogs, mow lawns, get groceries, and serve drinks, anything you can think of. It sounds exciting, yet most people remain skeptical. Can robots be trusted around kids? Will they ever be safe enough for homes, schools, and nursing facilities? Despite dystopian movie tropes like Terminator or iRobot, Musk insists Optimus will be closer to C-3PO plus R2-D2, a helpful companion, not an existential threat. Today, Optimus operates at roughly one-third of its potential. Yes, it can perform various tasks, but these remain basic, and customers paying $20,000 to $30,000 expect much more. People want a robot that truly helps, preparing meals, safely watching children, reminding elderly family members to take medication, using appliances, cleaning thoroughly, and performing real household work. Without such capabilities, it risks becoming a novelty instead of a necessity. Tesla's newest videos showcase Optimus performing more real-world tasks, watering plants, cleaning kitchens, picking up delivery packages, loading and unloading items from car trunks, and transporting objects around the home. Tesla positions Optimus as a safe, friendly household companion, capable of natural conversation, able to chat with seniors, answer children's questions, and provide day-to-day -day company. But safety is the real concern. How does Optimus prevent cross-contamination when switching tasks? Like taking out trash, then preparing food? Humans wash their hands. Can a robot do the same? That problem is actually solvable thanks to Tesla's incredible hand design. The hands are tendon-driven like human hands, have fewer water-vulnerable components, use materials that clean easily, and may even incorporate antibacterial surfaces. Musk confirmed that designing the hands alone consumed half of the total engineering effort for the entire robot. And these hands matter because a humanoid robot would be useless if owners had to program every motion manually. Instead, Tesla uses imitation learning. Show Optimus a task, and it learns the behavior. Musk said Optimus can watch a video of a human performing a task and then reproduce it, which bypasses the need for enormous pre-programmed data sets. Optimus can also interpret body language recognizing pointing gestures, directional cues, and intent, allowing intuitive communication even for those who struggle with verbal speech. This marks a radical shift. Robots are finally becoming practical in the real world. Tesla's strength in real-world AI, built through years of autonomous driving development, gives Optimus a neural brain no competitor has. Just as Tesla trained its cars to navigate the world using cameras and neural nets, the same architecture now translates into a robot capable of walking, manipulating objects, sensing people, and adapting behavior autonomously. Musk openly states Tesla is the leader in real-world AI, and Optimus is where that advantage becomes undeniable. And now, the manufacturing plan for 2025 reveals the next phase. Elon Musk confirmed Tesla will deploy at least 1,000 humanoid robots internally next year, marking the first true large-scale industrial use of Optimus. He has long envisioned the machine that builds the machine, and Optimus is the missing link. Current factory robots are powerful, but fixed in place and limited to single-purpose tasks. To fully automate manufacturing, mobile general-purpose robots are necessary, and that's exactly what Optimus provides. In the latest demo, Optimus navigated through a bustling workspace full of machines and workers, autonomously mapping new environments without pre-programmed routes. This behavior mirrors how humans navigate unfamiliar places, except Optimus instantly builds and stores a complete 3D map, making it even more efficient over time. And the timing is no coincidence. 
Manufacturing suffers a labor shortage of 300,000 workers in the U.S., with logistics short 600,000 to 700,000 more. The world will need robots. AI breakthroughs of the past few years have made it possible. Musk predicts Optimus could push Tesla's valuation to $25 trillion, and that demand could reach 10 to 20 billion units globally. Investors agree. Humanoid robotics is projected to become a $38 billion market by 2035, and new robotics startups are emerging monthly around the world. Yet Tesla's biggest advantage isn't AI alone, it's scale. Every major component of Optimus is Tesla-designed. Actuators, motors, electronics, batteries, and structural hardware. This vertical integration allows faster iteration, lower cost, and mass production unmatched by competitors. Musk says production cost per unit could be as low as $10,000 over time, enabling a future where Optimus becomes as common as cars. Tesla plans mass production starting 2026, with early consumer versions priced at $20,000 to $30,000 and dropping later. Before that, Tesla will offer a rental model, about $200 per month, to test real-world deployment while keeping tight control over safety, maintenance, and usage. Since AI autonomy brings inherent risks, Tesla must regulate how Optimus is used before millions of units reach homes. This rental strategy allows controlled scaling, safe field testing, and constant data collection. Ultimately, Musk's long-term vision is clear. A world where every home, every workplace, and every individual has access to a humanoid robot that performs dangerous, repetitive, or time-consuming tasks, enabling a future of unprecedented productivity. Optimus could handle child care, elderly care, education, cooking, household chores, pet care, yard work, shopping, and companionship. Factories could eventually be staffed primarily by robots that build the next generation of robots. With Gen 3 launching in December, faster improvements each quarter, and AI accelerating exponentially, the world is rapidly moving toward a future where general-purpose humanoids are mainstream. The only remaining question is not if Optimus will scale, but how fast Tesla can bring billions of these machines into reality. Before Tesla makes Optimus widely available for purchase, Musk has stated that the company will first roll out a rental program. This approach lets customers experience the robot firsthand while giving Tesla access to valuable real-world performance data. Current expectations suggest the rental fee could be around $200 per month, making early access far more attainable for most people. This strategy allows Tesla to evaluate how Optimus behaves across diverse environments while keeping tighter control over user interactions. Because Optimus is a highly capable AI-driven machine, its behavior is more complex and potentially more challenging to manage than many assume. Even with extensive safeguards, autonomous systems always carry some level of risk. So, should highly autonomous robots like Optimus be released to the public at all, or is the safety risk still too high? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.